I can't believe I've been away from the studio for almost two weeks. That's just crazy because this is such a walk and way for me to be in connection with you that somehow, some way, I've been away. And it's like, how, how does anything like this even take place? And, and why doesn't it feel like it's been almost two weeks? It feels like, well, I was just here yesterday. No, no, that's not what the calendar is saying. How fast is your life moving? Or do you even think about that? Is everything flashing by? Or is it one of those moments my sister used to say, I'm so bored. I'm so bored. Everything is not moving. And I'd go, Susan, please. Life is not boring unless you make it boring. We have this power of choice in order to get ourselves to the next level. But I'm so bored. How is that possible? Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I am the silent wolf that sits beneath the brush, and I watch life move as quickly as possible. It's not that I'm bored. I'm entertained by life. I love life because it's constantly changing. It's constantly moving. And if you pay close attention, you might actually learn something. This is The Daily Mess. It's not an easy walk knowing all is not right. Then again, without daily challenges, would we be in states of true happiness? We speak of the challenges and changes as if to be living in a nightmare. But who would we be without them? The making of any moment comes with its own expectations. Like it or not, it's got to be played out. Yes, I'm back from three great days of camping. We even played this thing called pickleball. Because we're so new at it, the body, oh my God, I hurt. I thought it was supposed to be an easy game. How can having fun come with so much pain? Did we hurt this bad as kids? It's not an easy walk knowing that time is playing games with each and every one of us. It's not about catching up, but rather playing along. So do it a little faster, right? While others take their ball and go home. How many times have you been in that situation where you are in a moment with somebody else, you're collaborating, you're just having fun, or you're just getting to know, and suddenly that person goes away. They just take their ball and they go home. And it's like, wait, I I thought we had a moment. I thought something was happening here. Wow. That fast, huh? It's so funny because I just talked with Kevin Sorbo and his wife, Sam. They've got a brand new movie coming out, and it's only in theaters this weekend, Sunday and Monday only. And I said, I don't understand the business side of that. And he says, well, that's all we can afford this Sunday and Monday. It's almost like they've got this brilliant movie, this big ball of entertainment, and I'm going to go home with it. The fact that they even created it is mind-blowing to me. And to hear their story and how they are building these amazing movies with their own production company is is, is just mind-blowing. But I got 10 minutes with them, and it felt like that one of us grabbed the ball and went home. But we were so locked into that conversation, mainly because I wanted to know if the only reason why it was in theaters for two days was because of our attention span. Now, because I'm a mobile DJ and I do all these parties, every single one of them you could ever imagine, when people come up to me a minute and 30 seconds into a song and they say, change this one, man, I'm done with this one. No, you can't do that. No, you're, you're going to wait the entire four minutes and 30 seconds. I, I, I'm done. And that tells me that our attention span is about a minute and 30 seconds, which I think is actually wrong. Because if you go to YouTube, sitting through those commercials before that video, you're going, come on, come on, hurry up and hit skip ad. Where are we now? Who's going to grab the ball and go home? It's not an easy walk knowing all is not right. But what makes it right is who's playing in the game. But for how long? I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.